course. I wish that chime, whenever you hit a key, that uh, is not a key that is allowed to be pressed on a certain window. I wish that chime did not happen. Anyway, welcome everyone to the stream today. I gotta say, holy shit, I found the best mod for Fallout New Vegas yesterday after the stream. So I was playing uh, a little bit on my own. And I kept having to, like, save the game and close it. And, like, I would go to another window to, like, change, like, who I was watching on Twitch or, like, send a message on Discord. Then I'd have to reload the game because any time before, if you were to, like, alt-tab and uh, get out of the game, you couldn't open it back up. At least on my computer, you couldn't um, because of the way that the full screen nonsense worked on the older game um, and whatnot. But thanks to... Uh, a mod called One Tweak for FNV for Fallen in Vegas. Um, that, that's that problem's gone. It's beautiful. So what it does is it makes like a pseudo um, borderless windowed kind of mode for it, right? And you just gotta set your game to windowed, have the mod on, and then just like borderless windows. So now I can like Alt Tab out of Fallout New Vegas, and while I can't do anything on the the desktop screen that New Vegas is on. I can use my mouse to go to other fucking windows. It's the greatest mod ever to exist. Ever. I love it. Because uh, nothing sucks more than not being able to, like, alt-tab. And then the game having to be restarted if you do that. So, uh, fun, fun. Anyway. Before we hop into the game, I just wanted to say I got some stuff that I'm working on for the, uh, the, ch the channel here. That I think is going to be kind of cool. I'm hoping to have it finished here in the next couple of weeks to a month. So be on the lookout for that. It'll be kind of interesting, I think. It'll be fun. I like it. I like the idea. It's great. It's already turned out. The first thing I have for it, it's finished. It's done. It looks great. But it needs to come in a set. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the game now. And I'll just kind of uh, go over some of the uh, things that I've been doing. Hey, Shadow. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. So, last time in Fallout New Vegas, what we had done was basically we walked around Irvington after talking to some of the uh, Crusaders and doing some stuff and whatnot, and uh, learning about Irvington and all that kind of good stuff, and uh, having to figure out console commands to deal with uh, a bugged quest with the Crusaders. And still, if you can see, America is not with me. I'm pretty sure she is lost to the game. She's in that one room with uh, Charlene, and she's just kind of there. Um, so let me open the map here, and I'll kind of show you what all we've been doing. Uh, so if we zoom out, you can see I have some stuff up here now. Uh, so from Irvington, uh, we went over here, and we did the, uh, the, the campground, and we destroyed the caravan thing. We found out that uh, the caravan was attacked by this, like, weird spore creature, right? And that candy had apparently been trying to corral it, which was weird, right? Um, so anyway, we came back, kept the ledger, didn't really find anything else out in the town. It was like, for some reason, no one cares about the caravan, everyone's keeping their mouth shut. Um, this guy lives on the outskirts of town for some reason. And uh, one thing I wanted to actually kind of show you guys, because this is going to come to play later. Um, let, me, let, me, let me finish up the thing here. So anyway, uh, we finished the other quest. I went up here to uh, the cave. To get the supplies for the trader guy, not the trader guy, the uh, the doctor. Uh, turns out that the uh, guy who Goldman, I think his name was. It turns out he also became a spore creature, and you find out if you talk to him that it occurred because he ate food from the town. Ooh, sketchy, right? So you kill him, put him out of misery. I also happened to find the entrance to Vault Six in the cave, so I explored Vault Six, which really kind of a letdown. It was uh, just filled with ghouls. Nothing, nothing special there. Uh, you basically fight your way through ghouls and a labyrinth-like maze of corridors, and you find a kid who snuck into the vault, and he said he was abducted by the ghouls, but in reality he just wanted to see you like fight through a shit ton of ghouls to get to him. And he gives you a crossbow, which sucks, but tells you that there's a shiny reward in the vault reactor room. So you go down there, and you get a gun that we already had, which is the multi-core gatling laser. It's just a pristine one that you get down uh, at the vault. And uh, this thing I actually used to clear out the vault, so it was kind of funny. Uh, I didn't realize something about this gun, but apparently when you kill stuff, they explode. And uh, 
That was really fucking me up against ghouls who were like all up in my face. Indeed. But uh, this uh, this, this cutling gun is amazing, and I love it. So that's cool. I also dropped some other stuff that I didn't really need, or sold some stuff, I should say. I also found a designated marksman rifle on top of the mountain that the vault is on. And, uh, yeah, it's not great. I was hoping it'd be like uh, um, AJ's weapon that was like an automatic one of these looking things, but uh, it does a decent amount of damage. It's like uh, 71 damage, whereas the covert sniper rifle is way less, but I don't think it's silenced, unfortunately. But uh, compared to the anti-material rifle, it's a little bit lacking, so I figured I would just kind of hold on to it. I can't mod that, unfortunately. Lame. Can I mod any of the uh, other guns that I got, like the Curlington? Nope. Damn. Well, you try. So anyway, explored some stuff up around this area, went through the Pearl District, through Slab Town, which is like a slaver town. Um, I just actually ran through there, didn't really pay much attention to it. Found something called the Icy Depths, which I have not explored. Uh, I found a snowman camp, which is just a bunch of people who look kind of like the Legion, but they're not, and they just attacked me on sight. Um, I also found another group of people up here called, like, the Militiamen, and they attacked me, and then after I killed them all, it was like, oh, your reputation with the Minutemen people has gone down, and I was like, what? They, they shot first. Yeah, anyway, that's kind of to catch y'all up here. So, the quests I have left are just for the, uh, Crusaders. But, me being the inquisitive mind that I was... I looked up online about Irvington because I feel like there had to have been more to it since we like found out there was like a plague in the town because uh, the one kid's sick, there was a spore creature that attacked a caravan, and the one guy who was uh, supplying the town with medical supplies uh, got sick and turned into a spore man, right? So you come over here and you see these like water tanks, right? It's like they're, uh, they're for something. Right? There wouldn't just be these here and nothing happened, right? So that's my first, like, there's gotta be something more to this town, right? So I looked it up, and I found out there's another area we never saw before. And it is over here, next to the shack that's outside the city limits, oddly enough, where the guy who makes all the defenses is at, right? And it's over here where I started the game. You can just barely see a door back there, you see that? That's also where all the uh, water tank stuff is at. What's the sword I have? It is... The Abyssal Edge. It uh, steals enemy health, but it also drains HP while drawn. So if I pull it out here... Da -da -da -da, it's kind of like a lightsaber kind of thing. It'll start draining my health if you look at it. Yeah, I'm going down slowly but surely. If you put it away, it won't drain your health, but... I like it. It doesn't do too much damage. It only does like 37 there, Shadow. But, uh, better than nothing. For melee, anyway. It's good against ghouls and stuff that, like, charges you. Not good against Wendigos, because Wendigos are too overpowered. But, uh, yeah. You get it in, uh... What building was it? It was... Uh, Swordstone Tower. I think you actually get a quest to go in here and search for a missing NCR patrol. And then it's a huge Lovecraftian, Eldritch, like Cthulhu-esque thing that you deal with. And it's, it's, it's insane. Scariest shit that I've ever fucking seen. And it's just like a little part of the mod. Insane, right? Okay. So anyway, this is the hydroponics plant. And, uh... Is that? Yeah. Okay. The screen's just bugging. I'm gonna grab a different weapon real quick. There we go. Cut lane. Okay. Uh, hello, miss? Zara, finally, I've been calling you for a... Wait, who are you? It doesn't matter now. Dr. Pavis is in danger. I know you have no reason to help us, but you have to save him. Dr. Pavis is on the surface. No, that's his brother, Harold. I'm talking about Joseph, the head researcher down here. Oh... Do you have anything I can use as a weapon? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, you could ask Damn. old Ben, though. 
He's the chief technician for the lab, and he's ex-Brotherhood. Huh, maybe I'll go ask him about a weapon. That'd be cool. What is this place? It's a hydroponics facility left over from before the war. Think of it like an artificial farm. We grow food down here. Or we did until now. The irony of the guy on the surface trying to grow food on the surface and failing miserably while they're growing food down here is hilarious. But Irvington wasn't self-sufficient. Uh, yeah. This place is secret for a reason. How about yourself? What are you doing down here? Is now really the time? Oh, all right, I'll tell you. I'm from OSI. California. Back there, I was a member of the OSI. I worked with Blackthorn during the Brotherhood War and left with him. Why leave the NZR? Because out of all the people they could have put in charge of the science division, they chose Wei. He's a trumped-up little asshole who doesn't consider anyone else's opinions and blames others when his faulty experiments fail. There was a point when I couldn't take it anymore, so I left. From what I hear, I wasn't the only one. That's fair. How'd you find the lab? My old friend, Zaris, recommended me to Dr. Pavis. I'm glad she did, too. This might be the only job in the frontier I'm qualified for. Okay. What happened? I... I don't know for sure. Everything happened so fast. One minute I was taking readings from a sample, and the next these things were going through and killing everyone. I, I barely got out of there. Describe the creatures. They're similar to feral ghouls, but they look like they're covered in plants. Hmm. Or that they are plants. If that wasn't enough, their behavior lines up with several invasive plant species I've encountered. I've never seen anything like this. Indeed. How'd you survive? I was lucky. When the attack started, I was right next to the exit. Those things are tough, but they can't open doors. Of course, of course. Uh, where's the doctor now? Last I saw, he was running into his office. He's probably still there. Another researcher, Yasuke, was following him. Hopefully they're still alive. If they're dead, this project might as well be over. What's about those two? Important? Well, we could continue without Yasuke, but Dr. Pavis is the only one here who has a full grasp on how the lab works. He was teaching us how to work it, but he didn't tell us everything. Not to mention that most of us are dead now. Mm -hmm. He's indispensable. It's really bothering me that she's pronouncing it Yosuke instead of Yosuke. But, okay. Okay, I'll go find Pravis. Thank you. Here, take this. It's my key card. It won't get you into Pavis's office, but you can probably find the key card that can in the main level. I also have a few stim packs with me. If you're seriously hurt, oh, I don't come need back packs, and I honey. can give them to you. Okay. I was also looking up how to fix my uh, Pip Boy light. And as you can see, I couldn't find out how to do it. I saw plenty of uh, people saying that I don't know how to turn on my pip light, or like it was uh, a pip light like won't turn on at all, or when it does, it's just all black still. So uh, there wasn't anything about yeah, it turns on for like a second, then turns off. So I guess we're just gonna have to suffer. Yo, old Ben. Howdy. Hey yo, there's a guy in danger. I was told you to give me some weapons. Let's see. Suppose I should have expected something like this. Damn cool, this whole thing is probably his fault. Probably. I knew we shouldn't have brought him in. If we lose a... Here. A laser rifle? A Howdy. laser pistol, really? What'd you got to sell? Let me just go ahead and uh, sell you this stuff back. Uh, this DMR, I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I don't need it. Take a laser pistol, take that one, and accept Thank you. Bye now. Take care. Okay. Well, <laughs> we made some free caps at least. That's nice. Alright, so I think that was a dead end. So we just gotta kind of sweep this way. Excellent. Oh, by the way, I uh, <clears throat> cheated in a couple of stim packs. So I was tired of having to like loot them and stuff. gun. 
It's just a shame that the durability on it goes down so quick. Hmm. That's fair. Hello, time to die! Bondable perk, rank one. Nice. That's a lot of them. Okay, hold on. Uh oh, reload. All right, easy. Given how they're grouping up, though, it might be better to use the multi-core Gatling laser. This baby is insane. Hmm. Ah, she, 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 she. I don't know why that startled me so bad, but it did. Oh, okay. Ugh. It's like the stupid fucking Prowsis thing. So I guess stay away from that nasty stuff that they shoot out when they die. Okay. Noted. That door's blocked. What's this? A carved pumpkin? Why'd I, why'd I pick that? Amanda's terminal, to do list, experiment log, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Harvest tomatoes. Hmm. Search nightshade. What do you got? Bunch of ammunition, huh? Interesting. The uh the alerts are still going off about me crippling these people. Actually kind of funny. Okay, so stim packs. Alright. All right, let's search back here first. H-bomb vending machine, okay. So it's looking like there's one. Why are they carving pumpkins? What is the purpose here? Also, what's this? Tomatoes? Just a bunch of stacks of tomatoes? Damn, that's a lot of fucking food. So as you can see, every time something dies when this gun fires, it, uh, explodes. So doing so in close proximity really fucks you up. Dr. Mark's terminal. Uh, synthesized. Hey, nice. Okay. One zero zero one zero one zero one 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 zero. What the hell? There was radiation leak in one of the Protectron containers. Privus is telling us to get rid of all the Protectrons until Old Ben can fix the radiation leak, which is never. I should be angry, but I'm freaking the fuck out. <clears throat> the radiation leak isn't an accident. Something caused it. Something in the pipe works. I saw it. It was only a few seconds, but I saw it. It was some kind of green monster thing. I don't know. I told Privus about it, and he ignored me because, of course, he did. He didn't even bother with Zarius. Because she's a bigger idiot than Privis. I know Sonya would believe me, but she... Wait. What if that thing got to Sonya? And maybe the others too. Holy fuck. Personal log three. I'm leaving. Irvington is a lost cause. Might as well uh, just burn the town down and start over. With Sonya dead and the Protectrons gutted, there's no reason for me to stay here anymore. Uh, if they are intended like the Brotherhood, well, Ben used to be part of, then I'll stay with them. Ah, so this guy basically went to the uh, Brotherhood Crusaders anyway. What was that note about power armor? Heard you were interested in time with the Brotherhood. I know you'd get bored with my little stories, so I'm sending you a little souvenir of mine. The good old days. Once you get it working again, I might just teach you how to use it. Ah. So I guess, uh, Ben gave this what is it, Dr. Mark. Power armor? That is not here anymore, unfortunately. Lame. Just a bunch of scrap metal, though. Yeah, this gun's great. I love it. But, uh, it's a little bit sketchy. These. Oh, here's the power armor. Never mind. T45D power armor. Hmm. I can't carry it, though. Wait, so there's another, is there another door somewhere? What is this? Sa, 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 sa. Ooh. That's not right. Monthly report. Rip Sonya. We were taking promise too soon. Okay. That doesn't really tell me much. So do I just go back through this room now? 
It requires a key, but... I didn't see another way to go. <clears throat> Unless I'm just blind, which could be honestly the case. Uh, hey! Open the door! Asshole. Pick a cave fungus. Although, hold on. That one guy said there was something in the pipes, right? <clears throat> oh, maybe if I just use this? Blood. Hey, first try. It really was an easy terminal. Okay. Project Red Baron. Dr. Er, uh, Ivan. Subject tomatoes. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. <clears throat> Project Headless. Uh, Dr. Harrison, deceased, and Dr. Harrison. Subject is pumpkins, of course. Subject growing pumpkins. Uh, Project Mr. Potato Head. I'm guessing they're making potatoes. Project Keep Doctors Away. Apples. Okay. Wow, this was useful. Pumpkin flower, huh? No? He's giving me radiation, though. Yeah, figured. Oh, wait, a vent, maybe? Ah. That's what the note was about. <clears throat> Saw something in the vent. Tear it off. The fuck are you? The hell? Max Journal. Go pee. And some shit. Enclave scientist outfit, huh? Wait. Are these? Hold on. One second. I think I see what's going on here. If these have what I think in them. Nope. It's just a bunch of food, huh? I was thinking these were the same boxes that uh, Zarius had in her house, where they uh, were full of like stim packs, raw meat, and vodka. I was like, is she working with the Enclave? Dun dun dun. I think they're all just food, so I'm not gonna worry about unlocking the rest of these. Box of food, box of food, box of food. So is this guy stealing food and sending it to, like, the Enclave or something? Oh, right. I got a perk that, like, shines keys and, uh... Key cards? Food packaging terminal. Feed them true, feed them right. Thank you for your purchase. Hello there, you are reading this, then you have... You are one of the many local Americans who have purchased one or more units of the Steel Trap Theft Deterring Device or STD for short. With the STD, you don't have to worry about getting about greedy employees taking what they shouldn't. No more do you have to fear that one of your buddies is skimming off the top. With the STD, corporate espionage is a thing of the past. Our patented auto-locking technology means that as soon as the container is full, the lid will slam down and lock itself. Uh, you and your buyers use the STD's unique control key to open it. Welcome to the new era of corporate security, the STD. Make sure to tell your friends. Know that the Gillian Corporation is not responsible for any damage that may occur to the fingers, face, or arms while using the STD. Urgent message. Please help, please. We're under attack down here. Something happened. These things uh, showed up and started killing everyone. There was an explosion and we can't get out. We're running out of food down here, but we can't get the boxes open. We need a hurry. A warning. Network error. Not found. Okay. Order for this month. Four pounds of tomatoes, some strawberries, yada, yada, yada. 22 apples, you can give them extra 10 to make up for the strawberries and potatoes. Okay. Cancelled, won't be using potatoes for a long time. Four pounds of bananas. Okay. So, was this like... This wouldn't have been pre-war. Because this guy would be either a ghoul or something, which if he was a ghoul, then... He wouldn't just suit. Interesting. Okay. So I'm not sure what all that was about, but is it a fake poster? No. Okay, just making sure. I hide one thing. Who knows what else they're hiding? So maybe I can see traps with that perk that I got too. That makes sense. All right. I got a key card. Let's go. Who are you? 
Hmm. Kratos. You're not militia. Good. If you were, you wouldn't have gotten this far. They're brave. Forgive me. It seems I've forgotten my manners. I am Dr. Joseph Pavis, the head of this facility. I can only assume you have many questions. Is that a Goss rifle, sir? Let's see. I met your brother. Harold, you mean. He's a good man. I wish we could spend more time together, but my place is here. As a cab helped Harold solve his problem. Oh, I see. I'm grateful for your help. Thank you. Amanda sent me to find you. Amanda, she's alive. Thank heavens. At least not everyone was lost. Can these things escape? No. Their physiology reacts negatively to the cold. They're trapped here, just as we are. Yeah, one of them escaped and killed a caravan? What? That's impossible. It couldn't have gotten out on its own. Someone must have deliberately brought it out of stasis. That may explain how the others escaped as well. Wait, stasis? Uh, what is this? I'm afraid the fault is mine. I was keeping these subjects in hypostasis deeper in the lab for study. I thought they were contained, but it's rather obvious that this was not the case. Mm -hmm. All these deaths are on my hands. And mine alone. I mean, you're right, they are. Um, what is this place? I suppose there's no point in trying to hide it anymore. This is a pre-war hydroponics lab. It was originally meant to be used to test chemical weapons, but we've repurposed it as a farm. We've been using it to grow our own food for years. This lab keeps Irvington self-sufficient and independent. Yeah, Irvington's not dependent. Like what? Merely a ruse devised by the townspeople to divert attention away from the lab. As it stands, the town remains mostly untouched by the war. If the existence of this lab were to be revealed, it would be a much different story. I suppose. Who but the lab? Most likely the Enclave. Makes sense. Perhaps this was originally meant to be part of a vault, or perhaps it was a separate venture altogether. I can only guess. Okay, uh, what do you do? I'm the head of this lab. Food production, okay. Need to get you out of here. No, not yet. My assistant, Yosuke, is still missing. When I told him the source of the infection, he ran off into the pipeworks to activate the decontamination system. It will kill all the spore carriers, but it will also destroy the crops and keep us from growing anything in the soil. This cannot be allowed to happen. If the crops die, our independence will be lost. You have to stop him. What is the source of the infection? The food. It's the food that changes people. The initial samples in the lab were sent here by Vault 22. These samples were implanted with a parasitic fungus that transforms the host into plant-like mutants. However, the spores here are weaker than the originals. They only have a 20% chance of infection. Yosuke didn't understand that last part. That is why what? he's trying to destroy the crops wait, wait, altogether. Wait. It's part of why I've been keeping the subjects down here, to try and lower the chance of infection even further. I'm getting close to eliminating it. But none of that will matter if Yosuke destroys our work. So, 
everyone in town knows that they have a 20% chance of getting infected every time they eat food. Is that what I'm getting here? Or is it like, they only have a 20% chance and if they eat the food, then they're fine and they won't be eaten by it, right? Is, is that... Who else knows about this? Zaris and my brother. That's it. Zaris okay. suggested I keep it quiet. That's fair. And I respect her judgment. How many have been infected? Not as many as you might think. Only four townspeople have been infected. Five counting the Caulfield boy. The majority are visitors who haven't built up an immunity to the spores like we have. There's a lot of those things down here. I know. But you've done it despicable. What I've done is given this community a chance to thrive and without having to bow to either of the superpowers. But they do! I'm the first to admit that I have crossed several lines. But any sacrifices we have made will be pointless if Yosuke succeeds. There's like maybe 20 people in this town. Most of them are militia. There's one family here there's an old guy, there's a drug dealer, and then the shopkeep, who are civilians. Like, the town's fucked already. They already give a bunch of caps to the fucking Legion and to Junk Flea anyway. Y'all need to just leave. Seriously, join another town. I'm gonna stop Yusuke, though. Thank you for understanding. You'll need this key card. It'll get... Because perhaps there's a way that I can fix this without having to have them lose their independence and stuff. Also gonna quick save and unlock this terminal. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Grandfather! Let's see. Pre-war material. Depository of all pre-war material due to the data corruption. The information is incomplete and out of order. Okay. Turn to the main menu. Uh, current material. Everything in this terminal is for doctor purposes. I was only anyone caught viewing this will be punished by the militia. Okay. Making progress. Harold. Sonya. It was the fungus that killed her, the infection. Okay. Gets worse before it gets better. Very menu. Okay. Well. Bye. I was thinking maybe, uh, it would give me some sort of information there. Ow. Back up. What? Another one? You okay, Doc? D doctor? Okay, you're good. Was this? Yeah, okay. I thought that was more back the way that way. Okay. Motherfucker. Okay. Left or right? I'm gonna go right first. I wonder if there's a way to get in here that's not with that key card. There was a door there? I guess maybe I could have picked that lock and gone through it. If uh, I would have been like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Yusuke. Because he would not have given me the key card before, right? Okay, is this just a dead end? Looks like it. Anything up here though? Nope, all right. Do -do -do -do. Xander fruit. A lot of spores on the ground. You know, why have they been using this lab with, like, dirt just piled on the floor? You'd think that they would have, like, I don't know, not done that. And would have cleaned it up a little bit. Certainly they're dealing with food here. Hmm. 
Why is that one closed? So that's a lot of Protectron doors, too, by the way. Goddamn. Alright, well. Down the hatch. Hey, triple hundred limbs. Nice. Uh, let's go right. Nothing here. Okay. They really like locking every single door, don't they? Well, Yosuke's dead. But, there's four plant pods. I can just eat these and have a chance to be. Wait, did I say poison resist increases? That's odd. Let me take a look around here then. Could be a possibility that I can. Fix this problem, right? Active a decontamination system. Poison the crops without anyone noticing. What? Why would I do that? Let's see. This console will activate the lab's facility wide decontamination system. This will completely eliminate the infection responsible for the creatures you brought to the lab. However, this will also destroy the crops and poison the soil, making it impossible, making it unnoticeable. Or unusable, sorry. Alternatively, this, uh, with a decent understanding of the technology, you could only engage this system halfway. This will poison the soil and the crops, but the crops will still exist. And it's unlikely anyone will notice your sabotage until it's too late. So I can kill the crops, or I can leave it alone, or I can for some reason poison everything, but make it look like I didn't, and then they all die. I mean, these people don't deserve to die. They're idiots, but I'm gonna leave it alone. You know, if they wanna have four monsters be a thing that they see, then that, that's fine. If they wanna run that risk, they can run that risk. It's their town. It's not like they're, you know, forcing people to eat their food, right? At least I hope the visitors aren't being forced to eat their food. Yo, Pravis. Hello again. Yeah, your friend died. I see. I wish things could have been different. But at least we were able to avoid a disaster. Thank you for looking into this. I'll make sure to get the lab up and running as soon as possible. Look, man, you need to tell people. You're back. Um... How close are you to a cure? I won't be able to continue my research into the subject. However, once we're fit. Okay, I've talked to your brother? Yes. I've been talking to Harold. Okay. I'm not going to take what. What are you gonna do now? Right now, we're working to repair the damage. Luckily, the backup food store should. Mm hmm. I was hoping maybe I could, like, help them? Solve the issue? I don't know. Let's go tell uh, this gal here we. Hey, miss? Hello? I guess she's not here anymore. Do I have a question anymore or anything? Or. Maybe something will trigger when I go outside? I don't know. Stop right there, criminal scum. So, what if I go and talk to. Zarya's now. If I can find her, that is. Maybe she's wandered off into the wasteland again. All that good stuff. Maybe I have to wait till day. Uh, let's wait six hours. Don't take me to 7 a.m., right? Okay. See if she's around. Also, let me maybe talk to the doctor. Because now that I know that it is a plague, maybe I can help him fix it? Hey, Doc. Uh, you, you okay there? Hello again. Nope, no information there. Okay. Nope. 
What's that? Jerry can? Okay, let's let's try and find Zarius. Where would I be if I were her? Also, I think that's all the uh I think that's all the quests here actually. I don't know where she's at. Well, that's it then. So, let's go destroy this insurgent cell. I went nearby the warehouse while I was making my way up north. So we have a fast travel point here. Luckily, nothing was outside the warehouse to uh, clear out this insurgent cell. So we can just go on in and uh, kill some folks. Let's rock and roll. Hello? Ah. We all kind of knock it off. Okay, I can't see. There's too many lights. <clears throat> too many lights! I was just mashing the, uh... The stim pack button, too, by the way. Just so you're all aware. Oh, God. This is gonna hurt. Hold on. Let me get... The cutling gun out. Oh, I died. Oh. Okay. Well. This. Will have to be taken differently then. I got a plan, though. First of all. Got him. Okay. Time to run away. Oh, I didn't die. Damn. I was not expecting there to be so many of these fuckers who are like OP as hell. Oh my god. Okay. Psycho. Uh, let's pop a rat away. A couple of stim packs. Uh, weapon. Give me my gold plated gun out here. How about that? What am I getting shot by? Direct nerd. Who else? Oh. You're who else? Okay. Uh oh. Why are your guns so overpowered? Oh my god. Well. Hazmat, wrap, filter, scripture, a dual fusion blaster, 51 damage. Meh. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Okay. Let's put it into survival. We got a laser PWD. Shader chain mail. There's no way that's the guns that they had. Because those were doing a lot of damage to me. Someone had to have had, like, a fucking crazy gun, right? Dual fusion blaster. A photon SMG. That could have been it. I'm gonna grab that. We'll give that a try. Um, let's see. Laser PDW. Limberjack. What'd this guy have? Laser PDW. Okay. Dual fusion. That's 
prophylactic. Is that not what that word says? Isn't that... Isn't a prophylactic condom? War Saint Octavia. Ah. Uh, Project Jericho plans. We need to talk. She just has a dual fusion blaster. A war saint. Interesting. What in the fuck? A shield, huh? These were all people with normie-ass guns. Why were they doing so much damage to me? Was it just because there was a bunch of them? It definitely felt like even one of them had, like, the capability to, like, to completely obliterate me. Did those blow up? Nah. Huh. That's odd. Was that all for that quest? like it. Okay, so that one I need to go to there. This one I need to go up there. Okay, so that one's next. Let's see. Judgment for Sister Erica. Blood Atonement. Interesting. Who is that? Is that a bunch of grenades? Hell yeah. Hell yeah it is. They have a nice stock of goods and stuff here. What do you have? Nothing. A bunch of ammunition, I'll take that. Oh, my confusion cell, of course. Are these all actually wine bottles? Nice. Huh. Nothing actually up here? I don't think there is, but you never know. There might be like a, a secret hiding on top of one of these, you know? Nope. Okay. That's fair. Well, I guess that was that. I was uh, not expecting to just get kind of obliterated by these guys a couple of times, but... Uh, yeah, that gun's still better, but... Let's give this SMG a try. See how it goes, you know? Might as well. Alright, world map. We just need to go up that way, so... Let's hoof it. Luckily, we are hella fast due to our max agility. Ooh, do we have to cross the river? That could be a trick. We might have to, actually. Uh, I think we need that train bridge there. That's a train bridge, right? Oh. This place. Indigos. God damn it. Nope. This is the, uh, the slaver town. So, when I ran through here last time, anytime I get close to someone, they just start running for some reason. It was weird. I didn't really look around much. I'm not going to. But I think at some point, I don't know why that guy's dead either, by the way. He was there when I found him last time. But uh, we're going to leave that all alone. So is this the bridge? This is the bridge. Okay. Huh, it's not a train bridge. What the hell? This is a weird looking bridge. Oh, hello there. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, they're just exploding when I'm shooting with this? What the fuck? Uh, I still have not figured out what uses the mining bolts, by the way. The crossbow didn't, so I'm not sure what uh, would use them. Why me? I don't care. Or, does this gun just explode people, or is it just... Like, any energy weapon I fire, is that what's happening? Did I take a perk that does that or something? Uh, 
Ah yes, the Portland Mirelers, of course. The Chitlers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, one's getting really close. Okay! That's the way you want to play? Say hello to my little friend! Well, normal Mirelurks don't, but these guys this time. Also, these things look less protected than Mirelurks. Yep, there, you seem a little stronger. It's kind of odd. They don't have as big as a shell. They just kind of uh, hang out. That one in a snow pile? I think I got it. Oh, yeah. I kind of like this SMG <laughs> from what I saw of it. Assuming I don't use it when I get uh, really close to people, I should be okay. So I think this time we're looking for a uh, train station, right? Yeah. Oh my god, you know what? I thought there was another hole there. Okay. Is the uh, group of paladins I'm meeting here? Hey. Hey, you. Here's the crusader. I'm assuming I'm talking about the flag on the back, right? Yeah. I'm Crusader Rekha Divakar, head of your support assault squad. Take point. We'll follow your lead during the breach and clear. Is that supposed to be like a uh, Russian accent? Or something? Ah, here's the door. Okay. Let's do this. Let's melt some Stay frosty, cultists. I have no idea what traps or how many hostiles are up against. Hold on. Shit, things are going to get rough. Weapons free! What do you mean weapons free? Oh, where's that guy come from? Wait. They just stealthed? What? It's kind of fucked up of them. They just stealth and not tell me. Let's not get close to that guy before we kill him. Bam, baby. Do anything in here? No? What's the point, man? Oh, the lag! Oh. Oh, fuck me now. Where the fuck am I getting shot from? There? Yeah. Little shits. Want to live forever? Oh, hey, dogs. Jesus. Well, our rear is clear. Who else wants a piece? No, I killed myself! My leg! And that's why you don't fire this gun up close. Okay. Well, if that's the way we're going to play it. I... will take out... my AMR.
Oops. Ah, I fucking hit that. Damn. You should be coming right up here, though. And pop. Oops. There we go. The fuck? It's a little calmer now. Dude, this antimaterial rifle. <laughs> Insane. Come right for me. All right. Can't believe I missed that. And he just ran right towards me. Okay. Oops. There we got the dog. Huh? Am I blind? Thirty-nine percent. Hell yeah. I don't know how that hit. That was a total miss, by the way. That one wasn't, though. <laughs> I guess his name was... Oh, I thought I said Satan, not Saxton. Cultists, cultists, cultists. Their dogs are very nasty. It's like they've been skinned alive. I don't like that. Oh, there's only one in here. Hey, bud. Rest in peace, homie. All right. That's clear. Are we looking for something in here? Actually, what's my objective right now? It is to find the rail operation control room key and recover the map. Okay. I'm guessing there's something over here then that I uh, failed to look at. That was rude. I got uh, distracted with uh, killing the cultists, and I did not look to uh, do anything. I'm looking. That's a null. Great. And our master terminal. View regional repair and maps. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the squad. The backup squad will stay behind to scare the location. Okay, give the map to Clemens. Well, that's all. All right, y'all. Well, it looks like the location was secure, so I think we should be good here. All right, so we got to do this one next <clears throat> before we head back to the uh, Crusaders here. All right, let's just search around the area a little more, make sure there's nothing else that we can help with. Uh, I think that looks like it's all of it. Yep. 
that is all of it. Dead slave, a war refugee, a war refugee, and just a bunch of gore under this statue, which is weird that they have a statue here. Right, okay. Oh well, yeah, looks like that's all. Okay. So meow. Meow 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 meow. Thank you for your help, Crusader. You have a good time. Secure this location. I don't know why we're securing this location. I mean we cleared it. And uh Backup Squad return to the tower. Okay. That, that's good. I didn't want them to stick behind there and just like die. For no reason, you know. All right, so we'll just fast travel to the farthest north area we have. And uh, here you can see the, the snowmen that I uh, killed. Because they were worthless. worthless. That's a scab. They already killed him before I got here. But these are the snowmen. These guys. From afar, they looked kind of legion-y. Because this guy uh, here, he had, like, a, a weird headdress on. That I thought was kind of odd. Anyway... We're moving down now. Yep. All right, all right. Something over this way. More snowmen, is it? Mirelurks. How much further is my objective? Quite further, okay. I think we need to head this way. Uh-oh. Well, time for the minigun. Nerd! Okay, reload. Check it back. Engage next target. Let's go. Easy. Alright. The Uspis Portland Terminal 2. Okay. Ooh, a car. Nice. Too bad it's useless for me right now, since I have to go towards the water. Does it want me to go crossing the water right now? It's like I gotta go to that boat. Uh. Well. It's time to get frozen to death. Goddamn, I swim really fast. Holy shit. Looks like my target's on this boat here. Uh, why? Ship maintenance locker. Why are there those here? That's a little odd. Molly's Pipboy transmission. Urgent help needed with food. There's a situation with our food supply. Clemens assigned this to Wendell, but that kid is a few caps short of sanitary department. He's also a giant fucking asshole. See if you can get the problem. Look, I told Clemens I would send you to see him about the matter. Trust me, uh, Clemens isn't too pleased with Wendell either. He's just too damn noble to make us think about it. Not me. Being noble is a social construct for people afraid of their feelings. Hell, you know what I'm, I'm anything but. Thought Clemens would get back, he'll give you the details. Okay. Well. When I saw some, like, urgent message pop up, I was like, oh shit, what am I going to have to go kill? But, uh, they just gave me a couple of boomsticks, I guess, huh? Well, I'm hidden. I might as well just go back. Can't pass through, but enemies are nearby. I'm gonna eat my ass. Ugh. Okay, what? There's a friendly unit over here? Hold on. 
before we go back to the uh, Ropco Tower, let's see who this friendly is over here. It's probably just a bunny, more than likely, I would guess, but if it's not just a bunny, what would it be? Oops, bunny. Okay. <laughs> That's about right, right? Although... Uh... Game? <laughs> you okay? Looks like vault outfits, don't they? <clears throat> Game? We, uh, we good? Alright, I'll have four. No? Yes, maybe? Hello? Well, those are killed the old fashioned way. Close the program. Close the program. Relaunch. It should have saved automatically after we just got the, uh, the pip back from Molly, though, so. Nothing too lost there. This was before I got the stuff? Great. <clears throat> well. <sighs> swimming, swimming, swimming. All right, well, now I'm curious what's over that way, so we're going to have to go over there. Yeah, come on. Jump. Going. I'm going to grab these two missile launchers because vehicles are kind of a pain. I'm just going to toggle collision so we can get up here quicker. Okay. It's urgent help. Alright, save. So now we know there's a couple of landmines here. <laughs> Alright, let's loop one and see what he has. It's a snow blind. A Vault 6 jumpsuit? Oh, so Vault 6 was a... Uh, I guess they were testing human, uh, Nani? They were testing human resilience to, uh, radiation and stuff like that, because the vault was set to leak, and the, uh, science team was running experiments like that. Meanwhile, the overseer was, uh, not actually in command. The overseer was, uh, second in command to the science department. So this overseer did whatever the science department told them to do. And uh, they basically sealed themselves into the vault to succumb to radiation because of uh, that, to uh, avoid infecting anyone. Or to killing people when they turned into ghouls. That's what Vault 6 was, in addition to just a place full of random... Oh, can't open that door? Okay. Also, that door looks really leathery to me, right? It's not like metal, it's like leather. Good shit, okay. Well, there's a electromagnetically glowing lighthouse here. Uh, there's also ash piles here. Oh boy, okay. Well, let's go die. It's just gonna zap me out of nowhere, I just know it. No? no? It's not? Open strange door to Galleon Lighthouse? Um, okay. This tower seems to be protected by some sort of strange energy field. It appears to be impossible to get through. Come back at the end of your journey? What does that mean? Like, after I finish the campaign? But nothing in the campaign would deactivate that, right?
Also, this place is not marked on the map, so I'm gonna fucking forget about it, aren't I? Interesting. I guess I'll set a marker here. Not that I'll remember what the hell it's for, like a couple days from now, but. Weird. There was a symbol above it, wasn't there? It's odd. Okay, well, uh, never mind. I guess we're just going back down to the Robronco Tower because I can't get into there yet. Nice. Odd that there was Vault 6 dwellers nearby that, though. Is this fixed yet? Oh my god. Of course it's not. I should just spawn in those materials and just give them to them so I don't have to fucking keep going up and down these goddamn stairs all the time. Don't think I need marketing. I need R&D because I think that's where Molly and uh, Clements are both at. Clements, you old fool. Good to see you again. I obtained a map from the industrial train station. Here you go. Fantastic. Let me take a look at this. Ah, as I suspected, there's an old satellite communication station toward the southern border. It'll take time to brief and formulate a garrison, but it would be prudent to strike while the iron is hot, so to speak. Please, head there and get the systems running. Report back when you are finished, and I'll have our garrison ready to secure the station. Okay. Also, Clements, I heard Good about a... Again. Is there some... Let's see, any other stuff here? Nope. Okay, food supply. Our food stores are depleting faster than we anticipated. While the cold has kept our food edible longer, it also prevents us from farming. I have assigned Wendell to figure out a solution to our shortage. Perhaps broker a deal with a local market or caravan. He is good with such matters. <sighs> but it would ease my conscience to know someone was helping him. He should be in the second floor cafeteria. Thank you in advance. The second floor cafeteria? The second floor is the one irradiated, dude. I understand you mean over here. Wendell? No. In the food storage area? This one? Is he back here? No. Food ration box. And the game froze again. Oh, no, never mind. We're fine. Here, maybe? No, this is administration. Well, let's go talk to uh, what's her nuts anyway. Molly. Oh, Molly. Molly, 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 Molly. Yoink. Huh? Did I pass her? Oh, there she is. Hey, Molly. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? Got your parts. A rogue crusader group is after him, too. These will do nicely. Now it's my turn to bust my ass on this little venture. With any luck, I'll have it finished by tomorrow. Come see me then. Wait, did you hear that? What the hell? What? You can't just say that. Well, shit. I thought that damn thing was totally busted. I would have never brought working Enclave tech inside. From the Archimedes to the space station to any Enclave faster than 100. Orbital weapon systems have been... Shit! Enclave. Because sometimes trash comes in its own can. Just when you think you found the last of them, another one jumps up to bite you in the ass. An orbital weapon is the last thing those genocidal fucks should ever have. Come on, we gotta tell the Domina and find a way to shut it down. Um... Molly? Do, do, do you know that I fucking destroyed the um? <laughs> I took over the space station already. Wow, where's this asshole at? A different floor? like it. 
Yo, Clements, we got big trouble. Meet us up at the round. Second floor. Was there a cafeteria down below? Hold on, I'm gonna go up one more floor. I'm just curious to see if, uh. I always, I always forget her name. The purple suit girl. Oh, Wendell's not here. Charlene was her name, I believe. Also, I can fix this. Fix it! Okay. I wonder if maybe doing some extra quests have brought Charlene back. Maybe, maybe Charlene will be back in the uh, round table room now that something's been triggered. Or they're going to talk to Charlene and it's going to be awkward silence. Yep. Wouldn't that be fucking weird? Let's go, Molly. Come on. I know it's an emergency that we gotta get to the Domino for, but what if I talk to this other guy first? Also, I, uh, I miss America. Wendell? Hey, man, Sir Wendell's the name, food is the game. Uh, this one. Well, the brain trust that runs this place thought that dozens of people could march from fucking Utah to the frontier and subsist on a few crates of food. I tried to warn them, but nobody listens to Wendell. Maybe Jesus, because he understands what it's like to be perfect, but not Seneschal Bitchface or stinky old man Clements. So now, Wendell has to clean up the mess by finding a food supplier. Now, here's the real route. I'm not allowed outside of the tower anymore. Why? I might have brought home one of the babes that hang outside of the Wasted Angel home with me. But I, I can't help it. Women can't tear themselves away from me. Terrific. So you hired a hooker. What do you want me to do? Not someone. Lyle. He's a guy I know that works in this co-op. We kind of hit it off about old world comic books. Turns out the dude loves Grognak as much as me. Here, take this and tell him Sir Wendell sent you. Well, uh, off you go. Okay. Oh, Molly's not here. Let me go find her. She wandered off. Ma -ma 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 Molly. It's rude to run into people, Molly. Domina, we've got trouble. Molly, you look aghast. What's the matter? God damn it. Domina, we've got an enclave problem. Enclave. There's a name that runs my blood cold. What kind of problem? One of those wrecked iBots I found started transmitting a message. Damn, Enclave got themselves an orbital weapon. Are you sure, Molly? If so, this is an extremely dire situation. Sure as shit is brown. The message mentioned an orbital weapon and space station, Archimedes II. Does that jog anything from your Brotherhood days? Well, the Brotherhood's dossier on the Enclave claimed they might be seeking to establish space colonies. I always considered it disinformation. If this is true, it won't help us. There is an old nuclear silo with a live ICBM that Recon Team 6 has had under area reconnaissance for a while. Good thinking, Clements. A direct hit with that missile will blast the space station to dust. Threat assessment in the AO. All intel suggests it is unknown to the NCR or Legion. No ambient radiation leakage has been detected. 
so it's not a cool nest either. But we should still assume it's a hard target. Pre-war military sites are notorious for being death traps filled with heavy automated defenses. Good. I'll go and take the newbies back up. I should be able to troubleshoot any issues with the missile guidance system. That's absurd. We have a dedicated fire team for dangerous sorties. Let them handle this. We already recalled field teams to augment security after the last Legion attack. Those resources would be better spent defending the tower. Hmm. I'll admit each attack is getting more brazen and deadly. I'll trust your judgment. But the Recon 6 DM will accompany you for support. Then it's settled. I do ask Molly that you be careful. If the NCR learns there's a live ICBM, this will become an all-hands emergency. Understood? Understood loud and clear, Domina. Come on, newbie. Time to do the world a big fucking favor. I mean, they kind of already know. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? Nothing we're good. All right. Thank God we're not going back to the space station. We're just apparently going to uh, destroy it with an ICBM. As one does. Slaying the Black Knight. Let me uh, wait like 24 hours. Then maybe I can talk to Molly and be like, Hey girl, you got my gun? As soon as they brought up the space station, I was like, no. I did not want to go back into space. Molly, you got my hey, gun? Hey, newbie, what can I do for you? Apparently not. <sighs> huh? There's a slot with the key guard and this hidden obstacle. You wonder if the key card might still be found somewhere in the tower. I wonder it might open. It's probably not in the populated areas around the tower. Hey, come on. Oh. Okay. So I'm assuming that it's somewhere in the uh, radiated area. <clears throat> okay. Also, apparently waiting did not get me what I needed here, so... Add these items to my inventory here. Six five two 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 four. Player. Uh, wait, no, I need to search. Industrial fuses. Just a fuse. Here we go. Player dot add item D nine six five two one E three. Search. Scrap. Let's see. RAP. Electronics. Player. Dot add. Item. 13. B2. B1. Five. Search. Sensor. Module. Player. Dot add. Item. Uh, 22. 109. One. Easy. Close. Open. And... Bring them to Quartermaster Lamarck. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had to bring them to him or some other gal, but... He's on the third floor. Damn it, I don't want... This will be so much easier than having to, like, go up and down everywhere. All right, to the R&D floor. Let's give these to the quartermaster. QM. Welcome, young blood. I've got yourself for the elevator. You sure do. 
No wonder they call you the courier. <laughs> Hold on a tick and I'll get this. Just it's finished with repairs, you can now use the elevator to move between the floors instead of using the stairs. Fuck yes. Okay. Let's go talk to the fish king. Question, can I go to? Nope. Can't go to the second floor. Alright. Ground floor. Oh my god. It's gonna be so much easier moving around this area now. The walk to the nuclear side will be long and difficult. Do you want to warp directly to there? Never mind, I guess we're doing this one first. Warp to the silo. Okay. I guess I'll just go ahead and toggle that. Galahad? Salutations. I'm Galahad. Recon 6DM at your service. Clements has ordered me to escort you to the missile. We'll go in through that vent shaft. I cleared it. No blockages, and it's not connected to a security system. I'll maintain radio contact with my team during the mission in case we need an extraction. Take point. I'll keep our six covered. RT6, this is Watchdog. I'm escorting the tourists to Big Bike. Over. Let me guess, no reply. Let me adjust real quick. Here we go. Woo. Molly had to run to catch up. Feel that rush of air? There should be an air register ahead that we can squeeze through to reach the main floor. Hey, we did. Cool. So this is just like the uh, NCR assault, except we're going to be assaulting it. Oh, that looks. I don't think there's anything actually useful here. I would play on the NCR one. Yeah, just a whole lot of nothing. Alright. Let's do a quick save and down we go. You two coming? Yeah. The fuck? What is that gun, dude? It's like some sort of like laser sniper. I want one. I think we're gonna have to fight the robots, or I think we'll be fine. This place is a hell of a lot bigger than I expected. At least the size of my vault. Anything here? Nope. Might have to mess with these terminals again. Activate emergency lockdown. Disable lockdown procedures. And then... Robots? No? Just back up the stairs then, okay. Shit! We must have tripped something while messing with that terminal! Why do you guys always get stealthy? What the hell? Smooth, Molly. Real fucking smooth. My head. Feels yeah, good. Continue on our way. Stop swimming things and things in my face, please. Okay. Easy peasy.
How am I going in slow mo? Oh, the bridge is intact. That's nice. Don't have to knock down that pillar that's yeah, not there anymore. That crappy old bridge looks totally safe. But I guess we got no choice. It is weird that there's like a void in this facility, right? And that it's not linked with like some sort of structure. Auto commander control system. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Uh, reconfigure turret parameters. Swag. Ah, drawer open. Okay. That's fair. Damn. go down that way when the image rate is the NCR? No matter. No, oh, I can't open that? Okay. This way then? Uh. Mm. Know what you're talking about? I didn't, I didn't fall down a hole. Hold on. Nani? I, uh... I can't go forward anymore. Okay, hold on. TGM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just get past this door. Since it's solid ground. And then let me do that. So I'm back on the ground again. Okay. Okay. We're good. So if I toggle collision here. Okay. Can't pick that up though. Why does the floor not exist? Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna fall. See what happens. Let's reload and see what happens here. I feel like that should not happen. And yeah, the game crashed, okay. That's fair. I kind of saw that door on the right there start to rotate. It was a little sketchy. Makes sense. All right. Well. Well, 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 well. Ah, oh, that's that's not good. That's that's the opposite of good. I guess let's go. Oh shit. Everything's a little bit fucked here right now. So Force field activation terminal. Very hard. Okay. Appreciation. Uh, infiltration. Purification. Ayo. Nice. Sail of force fields. Now let's just go this way. Oof. Okay. Okay. Solid ground. Hell yeah. Oh, 
I got a better idea. Oh, Pip Boy, what happened to your textures? Can't see all the smoke in their way there. Ah, so here's where the final battle was at. There was a key card in here. Draw room key card. Radiation sickness. Treatment guidelines. Why not? Advanced radiation suit. There's a couple of them. Actually, there are three. I'm gonna grab them just in case I need to give them to the others. The others. Okay. At least I'm not falling through the ground anymore. Molly. Mo Mo Molly. Okay. Guys, come on. Oh, we're starting to lag. This gun's not very strong against those robots, I'll give it that. Okay, let's maybe switch to the uh Cullingen. God, I'm losing frames. This is awful. What's this? Interesting. Well, here we are. The launch controls. Wow. I hope I look this intact when I'm 200 years old. Give me a sec to set this bad boy up. Let's see now. Based on the transmission, what should be the azimuth, and now factor in the angular velocity, and the mass and the speed of the missile. Mission accomplished, gentlemen. Let's go home. Nothing like sending a giant metal dick to fuck some giant metal assholes. <laughs> Mission success! Hey, I saw a lift back there that might take us to the sur- If we hurry, we might get to see it when the bastards go- Excellent. Yeah. Well, this is where we part ways. I'll remain here and extract what data I can from the mainframe. Rip. If this exists, I'm certain there are others. This place is most likely networked to the other sites. 
Those locations will be extremely important in preventing them from falling into enemy hands. Good luck, soldier. Molly, take care of the kid now. No worries. <laughs> Watch your pretty boy ass down here, gal, you hear? Okay, bye. I got an achievement for keeping him alive. He can die? Hmm. I didn't really do anything special. I just, uh, killed things. Right, Molly? Do what I do best. Doesn't look like there's an opening up there, Molly. Surprisingly, I feel no better. You'd think knowing those enclave bastards are eating space dust would be cathartic. But I just feel... nothing. Really have the enclave, don't you? Almost seems personal. What'd they do to you? Don't play stupid. You damn well know the fucked up things those bastards have done. Genocide, slavery, raiding vaults, and... Well... Well... Molly? They experimented on me, okay? I was stupid. So fucking stupid. I was scrounging and saw a rusty X-01 laying in rubble. Too bad it was occupied. He was knocked out. I woke him up and he grabbed me. Ripped my vault suit off and smashed my ten mil. He hit me harder than I'd ever been hit. I woke up in a cage, still naked. With IVs and tubes shunted into my limbs. For days, he just muttered about me genetic purity, but he didn't find it. So he dragged me by my hair into a field, beat the hell out of me for wasting his time, and left me for dead. That's why I hate those fuckers so much. Could have been worse. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sorry. Thanks. You know, maybe I just needed to get that out. Maybe that was why I really came out here today. Why I'm still shaking right now. I just... forgive it. Come on, let's head back to the tower. But, please, let's not bring this up again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, we're back. Hey, Molly. Hey, newbie, what can I do for you? You got my gun? Nope, okay. That's fair. Sigh. Well, the Fisher King! Wait, what? Head to the satellite station. I'll write that one. Okay. Let's do a quick save then. Out we go. God damn it, I just left Molly. Let's go to the research development. Oh, it actually tells me who's where. Nice. Although, is that accurate? Because Charlene is definitely not in the other area. Molly, 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 Molly. Unless, of course, Molly's still fucking walking her goddamn way up here. Fuck. Oh, uh, let's see. It's right here. Okay. Weapon. The Jericho Fusion Cannon. Has a compass showing nearest enemy. Don't shoot while crouching. Why? Why don't shoot while crouching? Clemens? Molly? Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? I'm concerned about my safety here. Oh, 
Hey, stay here instead of go down. Okay. Well, let's give it a test run and try crouching and see what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens when you're crouching. Okay. It was literally just a uh, thing for no reason. Hey! Network. Yeah, you haven't been the same since you lost one of your iBots. Weird. Okay. Why is this... Oh, no, that's my marker. Never mind. Right, I just need to kill ten enemies with it. Should be simple enough. Let's go to Junk Flea. Talk to the contact here. What a weird looking gun, by the way. Am I going into this shop here? The grocery Mart? Looks like it. Delisle Co-op. Oh. Also, no way this is going to feed the entire brotherhood here. Just throwing it out there. Lyle? What's good, my friend? Welcome to Co-op. We got the freshest produce in the frontier. 100% rat free. I don't know if I believe you, but here's the comic book. You know the great Sir Wendell? Never have I met a braver man. He slew a Deathclaw matriarch with its own claws. Drove the Legion from Abernathy. Once, he even helped some ghouls get back a stash of pre-war gold from an Alpha Deathclaw's lair. To think, such a hero would live outside comics. Uh, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Is there something I can help you with? We were wondering if you'd be able to become the food supplier for the Crusaders. Oh, I, I would be honored. But uh, my crops aren't doing well, and I can't grow enough to supply you. I tried everything I can think of to fix them. Better lights, even the premium Brahmin fertilizer, but nothing works. The only thing I can't fix is the water supply. It's piped in from Junk Fleet. Uh, knights are supposed to help people, right? Could you see if someone did something to my water? I'm kind of afraid of hmm. people or I would go myself. So you have... Hold on. <clears throat> you have nice, like, fresh food, like seeds and stuff that we can use. Irvington has a place to grow food productively and efficiently except their food's contaminated. I think I'm seeing that we could work something out. We'll help you, but you're giving us that food for free now. Yeah, we'll look into it for you, Lyle. Thank you. I'll gather what I can up for you guys and have the first shipment to the run. Thank you. Check out the water supply. Okay. Um... Do I... Huh? I'm, I'm curious. Is it on the other side of the wall? It, it, uh... Okay. Maybe I gotta go back inside and there's something there I have to search or look at, I guess. One thing I can think of. Um, so is there like a faucet in here? Pick honey and mystique. Pinto beans, what the hell? Lyle, where do you get your water from, man? Welcome back. I mean, it's definitely outside. We gotta check, like, one of these or something, then? So I don't know what it's pointing me to do. Because the quest marker is saying to go here. But... There is nothing here.
This is like outside. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try going outside normally without using the collision toggle thing. So go back around here. Get the, oh. If the pipe isn't damaged, then she must be inside the junk flea area. Okay. Man, imagine not having your water source like inside of a wall there. That's weird. Someone could just easily go in there and just contaminate it. Like, fuck all your stuff, you know? Sketchy. All right. Out the way, old man. Unless you want to be tested on. Yeah. All right. Junk flea market. going down here again. Wait, what? No, this is not where I thought I was going. What? Kind of weird that I'm just an outsider coming in here and there's no guards. Let me just drop a couple of drips of acid in there and everyone's dead. Hey, buddy. You're a scavenger? A buddy of mine said he got a job at the Hunter's Lodge. What? Never s much drain oh, shit. shit, huh? Cleaning duty. Got a few more bodies floating around today and managed to get them out of the water before I can affect the water quality. First, I thought someone dumped the bodies in here. The door was locked when I got in. There wasn't any sign. The lock had been tampered with. I have a feeling they came in from the drain pipes on the walls. A few do. A few. Off the guards seem to think these pipes connect to the old metro system. Anyone who dies in there ends up here. If this starts to become a problem, I'll bring it up to the mayor and he'll decide what to do. Okay. What if I just fell in right now? Hammer McGee. Don't you have better things to do than harass an old drunk down on his luck? Why do you have a salt box, sir? You ain't going away, are you? Are you putting salt in the water? Monster pumpkins. I might be an old drunken merc, but I know what I've seen. Why do you think putting salt in there will kill him? A witch told me that in order to stop the plant monsters, I needed to pour salt into the water. Salt water kills plants, she said. So I'm stopping Lyle from unleashing more monsters into the world. If you're talking about Jack Rose pumpkins, I saw them. They'll eat him and everyone else too. A witch? A tribal woman that wanders the frontier. She yeah, speaks in broken English, but she's got nice tits and makes a hell of a tub gin. So sweet, smooth, and strong. Like drinking a butterfly kiss that smacks like a super sled. I figure if I put a little bit of salt in the water every day, it ain't hurting nobody. Maybe the wish caused the plants to make them attack you. I could sell your services as a monster hunter. Then you'll be able to buy all the booze you want. What? No. Maybe the witch is fucked up? Why would she do that? Because you were staring at her nice tits, as you said? Yeah. Makes sense. She did give me a dirty look last time she caught me. I'm gonna go apologize to her. That tub gin is the only thing keeping me going these days. Now, where to buy i I'm just gonna take the salt so it doesn't fall in there. So, about this witch with nice tits, though, is like, is that a character I can see? Also, this gun is coming out of my neck. How does it look when I wield it? 
weird. Okay. Well, let's go tell Lyle the weird news. Couldn't they have just fucking put this place and junk flea markets into the same area? Rather than have me go to through loading screens to get to that area? Man. Weird. You Lyle. My mans. Problem solved. Some assholes putting salt in there. Also, there's bodies in there too for some reason. I don't know about that, but okay. Welcome back. So it's poison the water supply with salt, but he won't be doing it anymore. Great! Thank you so much for saving my business. I just knew a friend of the great Sir Wendell would save the day. Tell Sir Wendell the good news. That still doesn't really fix anything, does it? Oh boy. Well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. We gotta go down there next. Okay. Uh, leave my marker. Thank you. Okay, well, I do believe we will just go ahead and end things here for now. And uh, continue next time, maybe. I don't know. See if maybe we do something else. Shrug. Anyway, everyone, thank y'all for hanging out and watching today. And if you missed anything, it'll be up on the YouTubes, of course. And uh, look forward to that new stuff coming out. I did sort of tease it on my Twitter, kind of, with a uh, picture. If you uh, want to go to my Twitter, it's twitter.com slash plagnashiki. And uh, you can find that. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, next week... I think we we might just continue Fallout. I mean, I, I there's nothing else coming out recently. I was going to play that Outriders game or whatever that game was called, but it looked awful when I watched some streamers play the beta or like the early access of it. And uh, it looked like one of those weird fast pay. It looked like kind of a mix between Doom and like something else, but... Hey, Morticio, how's it going? I'm ending stream here in a little bit. Yes, sir. But anyway, we'll be wrapping up. So I hope that you have a uh, great rest of your day. Until then, bye for now.